Ako po si Dr. Servicio. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayong hapon ay tungkol po sa sakit na colorectal cancer. Yan. So, uh, para po sa mga kaservisyo natin may mga katanungan na uh, ang, ang aming pong question of the day, uh, of course, paano po napapanatiling healthy ang inyong tummy? 0919-278-3000 at syempre ang ating topic today is a colorectal cancer. Number 3 po yan, uh, ng mga top 3 cancers po sa buong bansa. Buong at bansa. buong mundo. Wow, dumadami na. Actually, uh, pabata nga raw ng pabata ang nagkakaroon ng colorectal cancer. And we should all be concerned kasi it can be you, it can be your loved one, di ba? Uh, it can be anyone. So, kailangan natin malaman yung mga sintomas para ito ay maagapan. Di ba nga yung sikat na basketball player? L.A. Tenorio. Yes. Oo, Who would have thought? Sa simpleng, ano lang, sa simpleng sintomas, nakakala nila ito yun, pero naging ito pala yung resulta. Stage 3 na pala nung kanilang lang nata uh, na, na discovery Chadwick Boseman ganun din stage 3 si Chadwick oh. Boseman si uh, Black Panther oh, oh. I, uh, he, he was not able to survive uh, but he did for a while yes yeah gumawa pa siya ng pelikula na pansin ng lahat na payat siya and then uh, eventually I, uh, he lost his battle with uh, colon cancer mm -hmm. but uh, wow think, kita mo uh, bata rin siya hindi naman siya matanda yeah, so uh, siya pa, uh, si Black Panther, who would have thought, di ba? Kaya kailangan po talaga natin makinig ngayong uh, gabi dahil yung pong makakausap po natin ay eksperto po dyan. At isa sa kanyang mga advokasya, if I remember, ang colorectal cancer, when I used to interview him 10 years ago, oh, di ba? we go way back. At kasama po natin ang gastroenterologist at ang diplomate in gastroenterology ng American Board of Internal Medicine, walang iba kundi si Dr. Dr. June Ruiz, magandang hapon, uh, Doc. Hi, Magand Doc. Magandang hapon, uh, Ninia. Magandang hapon, Mig. Sa magpapasalamat po ako na naimbita ulit ako dito sa programa niyo para mapag-usapan natin yung importansya ng colon cancer at paano maiwasan to. Babate rin pala ako sa mga nanunood sa programa natin. Maraming salamat, Doc, ha, dito po sa inyong oras. Pero syempre, colon cancer, colorectal cancer, ano ba ito? Ano ba ang mga early Signs and symptoms ito, Doc. Okay. Ang problema kasi sa maaga pa na cancer, like colorectal cancer, is wala pong sintomas kung maaga. So, by that time, nagkakaroon na ng sintomas, pwede na sa stage 2 ka na, stage 3, or even stage 4. So, ang, back to the question, ano yung mga common na sintomas na nararamdaman ng mga pasyente natin? So, ang mga symptoms tulad ng rectal bleeding, Diba? Pag napansin mo, nagdudugo yung uh, meron tayong pagdudugo sa dumi natin, pwedeng cancer yun or pwede hemorrhoids lang. So, mahirap ma-distinguish ma sa pagtatanong lang kung sa cancer ba to or sa hemorrhoids. Other symptoms uh, is what we call change in bowel movements. Nag-iba yung patterns ng pagdumi natin. Let's say before, nag nagkakaroon kayo ng bowel movement every day. Tapos biglang once a week na lang kayo nag, ano, nagbabawal movement, bigla kayo naging constipated, or baliktad naman, diarrhea, o kaya unintentional weight loss. Diba? Hindi ka nagpapapayat, pero pumapayat ka. Pwede rin uh, sumasakit yung chan natin, feeling mo bloated ka, or nagpa-blood test ka, may anemia ka. And in the, ano, yung mga advanced cases, pwede bigla na lang, nagbara na lang yung bituka mo. And most likely, early stage na yun, a late stage na yun of colon cancers. But still, we have to remember na a lot of the patients with colon cancer may not have symptoms. Kaya kung pagdating mo at a certain age, whether may symptoms ka or wala, kailangan ka na magpa-screen. Mm, ayan, ang ating advokasya rin ngayon dito sa ating programa ay yung early screening. At kaya nandito si Doc, sabi mo nga, walang sintomas sa umpisa, which is actually scary mm -hmm. if you think about it. Kasi walang sintomas. Eh. Di, makikita mo na lang, stage 3 ka na. So, uh, ilan taon po yung dapat magpa-early screening at babae ho ba? O lalaki? Okay. Or both. So, siguro, bago natin masagot yung tanong na yun, siguro dapat alamin natin what are the risk factors for colon cancer. Yung uh, dinidivide po natin ng non-modifiable, hindi na babago, na, uh, na risk factors, and modifiable. Ito yung mga lifestyle related. So, let's start with non-modifiable. Kasi wala, ka na, wala na tayong magagawa pag non-modifiable. Uh, the most important is age. 
Okay. So, sa current guidelines ngayon sa Pilipinas and before that sa US and even sa Europe is at the age of 50. So, pag umabot ka ng age ng 50, we recommend na magpa-screen na tayo ng, uh, for colon cancer na maraming methods na pwede natin pag-usapan mamaya whether may symptoms o wala. Pag umabot ka lang ng 50 kasi it is a risk factor by itself. Family history of colon cancer, di ba? So, uh, pag nanay mo, tatay mo, kapatid, anak, these are first degree relatives, uh, kailangan mas maaga yung screening. Hindi ka maghihintay ng 50 years old. Usually, we recommend 10 years before the usual screening, which is 40. Mm -hmm. For family history. Tapos, kung meron kang mga sakit, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, na hindi naman common dito sa Pilipinas, yun kailangan din magpa-screen ng maaga. How about the na modifiable risk factors? Ito yung lifestyle related. So, ito dapat siguro yung i-convince natin yung mga viewers natin. Uh, alcohol, uh, abuse, smoking, paninigarilyo, uh, diet natin. If we eat a lot of red meat, wala masyadong tayong fruits and vegetables na kinakain, and also uh, sedentary lifestyle. Hindi tayo active sa, ano natin, sa physical activity, being overweight and obese are also risk factors. So, all of these are modifiable. So, wala ka na magagawa sa age, di ba? Wala ka na magagawa sa family history. But you can do something with the non-modifiable -modifi risk factors. So, uh, anong age po uli yung pwedeng magpa-check? Uh, okay. As, as okay. early. Oh. Okay, so early dito sa, ano, sa Philippines, yung guidelines natin is still pegged at 50 years old. Sa US, because of uh, tao na pag-usapan natin kanina about early onset colon cancer, tapos na-mention na natin yung mga sikat na celebrities na nagkaroon ng early onset colon cancer. And they're much less than 50 yes, years old. Yes, that's right. Like si L.A. Tenorio, na na-interview natin before, uh, he was diagnosed at the age of 39 nine years old. Tapos si, as you mentioned earlier, si Chadwick Boseman, I think he was diagnosed at the age of 38. He was already stage 3, pa nag -chemo siya. But he eventually succumbed to colon cancer at the age of 43. So sa US, 45 sila. Sa Philippines, hindi pa nagbabago kasi ang screening guidelines kasi depende kasi yan sa incidence ng colon cancer mm. sa bawat bansa. So, parang yung gumagawa ng, ano, ng screening guidelines are the national government kung merong colon cancer screening program at yung mga specialista na doktor. Mm -hmm. Kasi iba naman yung, di ba, genetics-wise, iba yung genetics ng mga Americans compared sa Filipinos. Yung capacity din natin to screen is also being taken into consideration. Kaya nag -iba, iba talaga yung guidelines per country depending on yung data nyo at capacity to screen mm -hmm. ng gobyerno. What kind of screening po itong pinag-uusapan natin? Kasi uh, pag naririnig ko yung salitang colonoscopy ba? Yes. Parang hindi naman ganun ka. Hindi yun yung parang, oh, I'm willing to do it. Oh, yes, yes. Medyo awkward yung feeling. Yes. Yeah. So actually, uh, there are two main methods of colon cancer screening. Uh, the first one is the colonoscopy na I think halos alam, alam na ng mga viewers natin. So ang colonoscopy is a procedure na pinapatulog natin yung pasyente. So, it's a sedated procedure. Walang nararamdaman yung pasyente kasi tulog sila. And what we use is a flexible tube. Parang instrument siya na mahaba, around mga 6 feet uh, in length. Pinapasok ko natin sa start ho, sa anus, all the way sa dulo ng, ano, ng colon, sa, sa cecum. Tapos nakikita natin kung may polyps ba na pwede natin tanggalin kasi polyps are what we call pre-malignant lesions. Mag tinanggal mo kasi na prevent mo yung cancer. Uh, so, pag makita mo na parang yung, you nip the bud. Mm. Diba? Natanggal mo na yung magiging cancer. that's the pre-cancer Yes, stage. pre-cancer siya. So, ah. that's the advantage for colon cancer screening kasi there are lesions that are pre-malignant na pwede mong tanggalin. Uh, the problem with colonoscopy is, syempre, it involves money, mm -hmm. na may mga risk din. So, there is a second way to do colon cancer screening. Ito is tool test lang, sa dumi lang. So, we call it fe uh, fecal immunochemical test. Iba yung okay. fecalysis. Okay. Yung, okay. Uh, yung fecal immunochemical test, yung tinitest natin dito, the presence of blood sa dumi. 
Kasi ang ano kasi ang iniisip natin is, di ba pag may cancer ka, parang nagdudugo siya. Di ba? So dinidetect natin yung microscopic blood. So even wala even wala ka nakitang blood sa dumi mo, but if you do the test, merong nakitang microscopic blood, then you should undergo the definitive test which is a colonoscopy. Para nag-ano ka lang kasi hindi mo naman ma-expect lahat ng pasyente papayag magpa-colonoscopy, di ba? Invasive. Patutul- it's oh. quite invasive. Oh. invasive. Tutulugin ka. Oh. So parang uh, tulog ka. So oh. tsaka oh. pag wala kang insurance out of pocket, di ba? Medyo mm-hmm. mahal din, magastos din. Mm-hmm. So uh, mga magkano po ang colonoscopy? Okay, it depends kung saan kayo pupunta, yes, di ba? Yes, so range, so, range natin. Pag sa government hospital kasi may feel let's say if you have feel health. Opa. So it will cover a portion. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, kung pupunta ka siguro sa government hospitals, pwedeng malibre. Diba? Pwede kasi gov- kasi libre. government hospital eh. Oh. But if you go to a private hospital, as far as I know, at it covers mga 6,000 yata of the cost. So, and the cost varies from varies. hospital to hospital. So, you might probably end up paying siguro mga 20 to mga 30,000 siguro. Hindi rin, mab- hindi rin oh. magaan. Mabigat yes. Oh. And then, kung may insurance ka, meron ka, they might cover. No. So, kung may HMO ka, they will potentially cover the cost. The okay, di ba? But if you don't have insurance out of pocket, that's the amount of money you probably have to shell. Kaya, the fec- yung fecal uh, immunochemical test is actually a very good alternative. Kasi, mm. unang-una, di ba? Mura lang siya. And it's available in any of the labs. Tapos mm. pupunta ka lang sa doktor mo, ipapa, ano mo na, ay, kung nag-positive ka, papakalonoscopy talaga. If negative, the problem with fecal immunochemical test is you have to do it every year until magpa-positive ka. So, ah. kung mag-negative ka na dun, Dok, more or less, o oh, sige, okay ka pa. Yes. Okay ka pa. And then, if, knock on wood, mag-positive, tsaka ka so, mag- magpapakolonoscopy. But you have to remember, this is in the context na no symptoms. Kasi pag may symptoms ka na, biglang nag-rectal bleeding ka, kahit negative, ah, yung ano, papapunta okay. ka na gastroenterologist, at kailangan mo talagang colonoscopy. Okay. You want to go for the def- definitive test or gold standard. Okay. Kasi hindi yung stool test, kasi hindi naman yung nakikita, di ba? Yes. It could be, a, there could be what we call false, uh, ah. false negative and false pass. Kasi napag-usapan natin kanina, pag may hemorrhoids ka, di ba? Mm-hmm. Siyempre, nag-bleed yun, pwedeng mag-positive siya sa stool test, pero pag nag-colonoscopy ka, walang nahanap. Opo. Doc, napaka-common din po ng hemorrhoids. That's Hindi right. Hindi po sa Pilipino, oh. kundi ah, sa yes, buong mundo. Yes. Mm. O, kumbaga, does that lead to colon cancer? Or, magkaiba po siya? Very good question. Wait, Action. hemorrhoids in Tagalog is... Yes. Almoranas. Almoranas. Okay, yung almoranas, merong uh, katawag natin na external hemorrhoids tsaka internal hemorrhoids. Yung external hemorrhoids, siya yung nasa labas sa may badang skin na nararamdaman mo yung sakit. <laughs> Kaya, di ba, usually mga commercials pinapakita pag may almoranas, parang in pain sila. So, yun yung tawag natin external hemorrhoids. Ang internal hemorrhoids, nasa loob siya usually nagbi-bleed yung internal hemorrhoids. So, based on the symptoms, masasabi mo, ah, external siguro yan or internal hemorrhoids. But there is no connection. Uh, so, having hemorrhoids will not predispose you to have cancer. So, independence law of each other, but they can coexist. Kaya nga, di ba, maraming mga pasyente na sasabihan lang, ay, hemorrhoids lang yan kasi bleeding, di ba? When it turns out to be cancer na pala. So, uh-huh. they can coexist. Ah. Kaya medyo confusing that even to the doctor without doing a colonoscopy. Kaya pag colonoscopy kasi nasisilip mo na siya, di ba? Opo. Ah. Pagdating dun sa ibang sintoma, sabi nyo kanina, recta, yung kung ano man to, no? kung kailangan mo siya i-distinguish, meron din bang karakteristik yung stool? Kasi tabi po sa mga nagmemeryo mm. na, pero kasi alam ko doon, kailangan yun sa karakteristik ng stool That's ng isang right. tao. Okay, maganda yun na tanong. Kasi yung hemorrhoids, iba nasa labas lang siya. Halos nasa ano lang siya, di ba? Sa anal canal. So, pag magdugo siya, usually sariwa yung dugo. So, you see bright red blood. Diba? Yeah. Pero pag ang bleeding, let's say, nagsimula na sa cancer na nasa right side ng colon, diba? by the time nag-travel yung stool with blood, hindi na siya sariwa. So, uh-huh. it looks like old blood. But uh, the other caveat is, kung let's say, yung cancer mo nasa rectum lang, halos andun lang. So, pag mag-bleed siya, fresh pa rin yung blood niya. So, uh, so kailangan mo rin ng colonoscopy at some point, if you have symptoms. Okay. So, uh, speaking of almoranas, kasi mas common ito, mm-hmm. no? ano bang gamot sa almoranas? Ito ba ay uh, kailangang operahan, tanggalin, o baka may pinapahit, o baka may gamot? 
Maganda yan na tanong Ninia. So, ang uh, almorana, sa, as we mentioned nga, are hemorrhoids, internal and external hemorrhoids yan. Lumalaki yan pag, ano, pag may mga anything na parang nag increase yung pressure dun sa loob ng tawag nating uh, rectum. So, example po, pag nag kayo, constipated pa kayo palagi, iri kayo ng iri. Di ba? nag increase yung pressure doon. Pwede yung internal hemorrhoids, pupunta siya sa labas. Kasi the, because of the pressure, pwede rin yung mga sabihin natin, mahilig ka ng heavy weight lifting, di ba? Or abdominal crunches. So, ini-increase mo yung pressure doon, nalalabas din. So, for the hemorrhoids, para sagutin natin uh, yung tanong is, we really want to start with conservative measures. And these are like high-fiber diet, uh, kahit gusto natin malambot palagi yung dumi para hindi mo na, na accelerate yung growth ng hemorrhoids. Kasi pwede naman siyang lumiit eh. Uh, kung ano naman, kung nagbe-bleeding yan, pwede kang pumunta sa doktor sa gastroenterologist may mga gamot naman pwedeng ibigay during stages na nagbi-bleed siya pero kung umabot na sa point na let's say tawag natin stage 4 na as in labas na siya hindi na siya nababalik or mm. talagang uh, nagko-cost na ng may mga grade kasi yan doc eh yes diba? yes oh. so yung mga ano na, na hindi nag-respond sa medical treatment you can consider surgery. But as surgery, there could also be complications. Kasi kaya, as much as possible, kung pwede naman ma-avoid uh, yung surgery, then you avoid surgery. The other thing na nakalimutan ko pala, there is what we call a rubber band treatment. So, yan yung before surgery, uh, hindi nag-respond sa medical therapy, maglalagay ho tayo ng rubber band dun sa loob ng hemorrhoids para uh, parang liliit siya uh, and then mashashed off siya and then parang gumaling siya. Ah, uh, so okay. it's in between surgery and conservative treatment. Ah, so if you put rubber band, the idea is baka matanggal siya on its own. Ganun yes, po, kasi parang it, 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 mapakita lang natin ha. If this is like a hemorrhoid, maglalagay tayo ng rubber band dito. Mm. So ang, ang ano ng rubber band is it causes a uh, constriction. So yung hindi siya nasusupply ng blood vessels. So parang mamamatay din eventually yung part ng hemorrhoid ah. na yun na she shed off siya. So, it's a relatively, parang recent, hindi naman recent, pero in the last 10 to 15 years, andyan na yung, ano, yeah. there's a form of treatment. Kesa yes. naman ma-opera. Yes, last that's resort. right. Last, last resort, resort in surgery. Hmm. Meron po bang mga tao na prone sa almoranas? Uh, I think yung mga na-mention natin ka, kanina na people who have bad, ano, uh, habits na constipated sila palagi. Ah. So, you have to push palagi para makadumi, di ba? Ah, Tapos, okay. yung mga anything that increases abdominal pressure or rectal pressure, yung nag, nag-weights, di ba? Kasi, di ba, parang umiiri ka nun. Oh. Uh, so, it will worsen. Sa uh, lifestyle, do Lifestyle, like what? Sa kinakain. Oh, yeah, baka oh, yeah. food. Certain oh, yes. food na oh. nakaka-almoranas, so, yes. di ba? So, actually, some of the foods na which can be true din kasi for hemorrhoids, pwede din for gamitin natin for colon cancer din. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anything na medyo spicy foods or anything na constipating type of food will worsen hemorrhoids. Pero, ganun din naman for colon cancer, di ba? We want to eat healthy. Uh, avoid natin yung too much red meat. Kasi the red meat can actually be carcinogenic if you take so much of those. O kaya mga processed food, mga canned goods, may mga preservatives yun that could cause uh, carcinogens na pwedeng mag-lead to colon cancer over a prolonged period of time. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na kumain ka lang <laughs> ng ano ngayon tapos magkakakancer ka na kinabukasan. Usually it takes mga, ten, parang it's like your whole lifestyle, okay. mga 10 to 20 years. Okay. Pagdating po sa, kasi pagdating naman po sa salitang cancer, Hindi po yan, you can see that you're cancer-free, agad-agad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But uh, how can you see na kahit papano kapag ginawa mo na ng treatment, kahit papano medyo papunta ka doon? Papano po ba? Like sa case ni LA. Okay. So, ang uh, it depends kasi sa, ano, sa, sa stage of the disease. Kaya the reason why we are promoting uh, cancer screening is kahit sabi natin na diagnose ka ng cancer, it's not the it's not a life sentence kasi marami nang mga effective na gamot for cancer ngayon but what you want is to diagnose the cancer at an earlier stage where it is more treatable tama where it can be cured okay kasi kung stage 1 kasi yung colon cancer limited lang by doing surgery you're cured 
Ah, so, oh. okay, you can. Pag stage 1. Pag stage 1. Okay. Uh, pag stage 2, medyo kumalat na. Kasi pag stage 1, kasi parang localized lang siya sa sa wall or sa dingding, di ba, ng uh, colon. Stage 2, umabot na siya sa bandang muscle layer uh, until yung mga surrounding areas niya. Stage 3, umabot na sa kulani. That means lumabas na sa colon. Stage 4 is pumunta na siya sa distant organs na yung atay, the lungs. So those are primarily stage 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Stage 1 is easily curable by, ano, by surgery. Stage 2 din. Stage 3 kasi pag kumalat na dun sa mga kulani, kailangan mo ng chemotherapy. Mm. Kasi you, you remove the colon, na uh, disease colon, pero hin- may mga maliliit na cells dun, di ba? Kaya you need chemotherapy. Stage 4 parang more on palliative na lang. Actually, in addition to palliative, meron na rin mga treatments na which are, we call it immunotherapy, na pwedeng mag-improve ng, ano, uh, ng lifespan, oh, ng quality, quality of, of life. life. Oh, oh. Okay, at least, uh, as we saw with the, the Black Panther, di ba? Yes, he was yes. diagnosed earlier, but he still lived like a full life. Yes, yes. A few mga more five years. years. Five yeah. years, oh, that's not... That's, 38 to 43, di ba? Ano pa rin yun? That's... Uh, magpasalamat ka na rin right, meron ka pang right. uh, you live five more years mahaba-haba po yun so ayan po ah, naku sana po ay uh, may pahabol ako ninyo ah, yes, siguro yes. call to action sa mga kaservisyo natin no? ngayon na medyo may awareness tayo mm. ano po yung mga pwede natin magawa okay. to keep our colon healthy Okay, so I think uh, we discuss about the modifiable risk factors di ba? so kailangan we have to have a healthy lifestyle right so uh, we want to eat healthy okay avoid too much uh, processed food too much red meat eat more fiber fruits and vegetables mm. kung yung smoking sana if we could stop quit smoking uh, alcohol ano lang very minimum and then we need to exercise kasi obesity and sedentary are risk factors and if you have symptoms. I think yung pinaka-importante if you notice na oh, may rectal bleeding ako or kaya constipated ako, sumasakit yung chan ko, pumapayat ako, you need to consult a doctor. Siguro you will end up with a gastroenterologist because he can offer a colonoscopy as a diagnostic test. Ayan po. Nako may nag-message po sa inyo dito. Hi, Dr. June Ruiz. Nice to see you online at Teleradio sa Istrenta. I'm watching now. Sabi niya, thank you. He's the gastro of my brother. Hello. Uh, yeah. Sa Medical City raw si Cynthia Bada. Okay. Uh, ito pa, sabi niya, si Gloria Abapo. Dok, meron po akong diverticulosis. I'm 67 years old, widowed with internal, external hemorrhoid. Am I in danger? Ah, okay. So, yung diverticulosis, actually, it's not related sa colon cancer. Ah. Kasi it's a separate process. But still, di ba, we talk about screening, whether you have symptoms or not. So, sa Philippine setting, if you reach 50, dapat nagpa-screen na tayo. Kasi yung diverticulosis natin has no bearing on our risk for colon cancer. Ah, so, so independent siya. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, don't worry, Miss Gloria. Alright, maraming maraming salamat po, Dr. June Ruiz. Naku, ang dami pa. Sana, no? Balik May mga po messages kayo pa nga dito. Pero, oh, mamaya, time's up na po. Mamaya, try natin oh, oh. na basahin po yung iba po. But, uh, just the same sa ating Dr. Servicio, Dr. June Ruiz, maraming salamat po. Thank you very much for watching. Gusto mong gumaling? Sundin ang payo ko. Ako po si Dr. Servisyo. Magbabalik ang inyong mga kaservisyo, Ninia Corpus at Migs Bustos sa Radyo sa Istrenta.